Good morning, everyone. It's like right before eight in the morning. I just took my dogs out, took Marshall out. Marshall got to walk around up here in the living room or upstairs again. Uh, keep, just sniff around to try to get him used to the smell of my dogs. Um, he knows they're there. He's seen them a couple times. So I'm actually. I'm not going to try to get Storm to Marshall to react. This is just going to be a quick introduction between him and Dodger so that he can form a positive um, association with seeing, seeing him. I'm going to do it through the door, through the gate, keep it closed. I'm going to open this top door up um, just enough that they can kind of see and smell each other. And then I'm going to shut it. It's going to be like you know five seconds. When you're introducing new dogs, you don't want to wait. You don't want it to be so long that the dog is going to feel threatened. He's just going to see him. He's going to say, oh, okay, hey, there's a dog over there. And then, okay, you know, just do it real quick. So, Dodger. Dodger. You know, Dodger helped me out in the shelter a lot with uh, uh, reactive dogs. Or just to check to see if... Uh, a dog was reactive to a dog. Back up, Dodger. Good boy, Marshall. Good boy. Okay. That's good. Back up, Dodger. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Good boy. Good boy, Marshall. So it's gonna give him some treats, show him that seeing another dog was a good thing. Good things happen when other dogs are around. Okay. So now they can still see each other. They smelled each other, they looked at each other, they got pretty close. Give Dodger some treats too, because he's a good boy. Dodger. That was, that's why it's so so beneficial to use a dog when I was at the shelter like Dodger that I could call back and tell him to back up. I'm not gonna re I under I know what he'll I know his body language, I know when he is getting a little too too excited or you know, and Dodger mostly just wants to play. So whenever he perks up it's it's in a uh, exaggerated stance so that he's trying to tell the other dogs hey do you want to play so i'll do another little touch and go here marshall's all the way up top of the stairs make sure the gate's closed all right come here dodger come come okay sit sit Sit. Good boy. Marshall's eating, so that's always a good sign. Dodger's excited. He's got his tail wagging. He wants to come see this puppy. Marshall's not even really paying attention to him. He wants to pay attention to me. He knows I got the treats. Now, I got the clicker. I'm not using it right now just because uh, I'm more worried about making sure that they're okay, not having my hand on something. But definitely something I can use. Now, see, this gate isn't actually even locked. It only, it only shuts the other way. So, um, really, me not having my hand on it means it could open... I mean, Marshall, if you wanted to get to the other dog, and that's the thing, if you wanted to get to it, you really could. All right, back up, back up, back up. The daughter came up and got a little closer to him. But it's a good thing about having a trained dog. Because he listens to you. And you ask him to back up, he does. Sit. 
hit. Good boy. Okay. Good boy, Dodger. Okay. Come on, Marshall. So that was a good, that was a good experience. We saw that there was another dog, so there's no threat. He's more paying attention to me. Um, that's <coughs> sorry. So that was me. You know, obviously my value to him was high enough that he didn't even really want to pay attention to the dog. He wanted to pay attention to me because what I've been giving him these last couple days. He comes back down and gets his bone. He likes his bone. So, all right, folks, that's a good. That was a good little experiment here. He didn't react. He didn't. He got so therefore he got no reinforcement for reacting. He didn't get any self reinforcement. So, all right. Well. Thanks for thanks for watching. Um, if you want to help me out? Send me a message. Like, share the video. Thanks.